families on uh, uh, insurance. You, you start weighing, okay, he's sick, we eat. Which one do we do? Well, let's give him an aspirin. No matter what anybody says, they're at poverty level. I watch so many people go without lunch in the lounges that I stopped eating in the lounges because I just had my managers eating there because I just couldn't stand it. They just wouldn't eat and we weren't allowed to offer them any money. And uh, there were people I see that didn't eat nothing. They'd take an hour lunch and just sit there. We have full-time employees that worked at Walmart and they had medical. But the medical was so high, so they had to go out and get medical, some type of government medical. While I was working at Walmart, I was on WIC. It's an excellent program. It saved my life, really, because you got all the formula and cereal and stuff you needed for the baby. And I also went to the Medicaid office. It can be a real hassle having to deal with the offices, but, you know, at least they're there. I'm thankful for the programs that are available, you know. I, it's not a fun situation. It's demeaning. I, I, I always heard people say, you know, oh, they're just, you know, there's so many people who just use the system, use it. I can't imagine that because there is no way I would want to spend any length of time having to do what you have to do to get assistance. You talk about using the system. Look at the way Walmart is using the system. They're promoting people to go to healthy kids mm -hmm. and to get food stamps and Section 8 housing and they're the ones that are using the system. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty bad when you, when you need to tell your employees that all these programs are, 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 available. are available for you because we're not paying you enough money. Retail giant Walmart is encouraging its workers to go on welfare. Instead of paying for its employees to have health benefits, she says Walmart is making the government take care of it. In Florida, Walmart has more employees and family members eligible for Medicaid than any other company. Critics accuse the retail giant of using Medicaid and state programs for the poor as its health care plan. This report from UC Berkeley researchers concludes Walmart costs state taxpayers $86 million a year and county taxpayers as much as another $25 million to pick up the tab for public health care, income tax credits, housing subsidies, and food stamps. Evelyn Dees used to work full-time for Walmart, but didn't have company health care benefits. She literally couldn't afford to pay for it, so she turned to government assistance. What the public doesn't understand is that those everyday low prices are based on taxpayer subsidies. Walmart is, is getting away with it because they can. I talked to the regional personnel manager about who was going to take care of the Walmart associates and their health care needs, and he said, let the state do it. The personnel manager told me personally that there's uh, assistance out there for people that should be able to go, go use it. Use your taxpayers' dollars. I had a list of all of the government agencies and all the different places that people could go if they needed money for their utility bills, if they needed to apply for food stamps, or if they needed to apply for WIC or for Medicaid. So your dignity is not there, your pride is not there. You go to work knowing that you're not making enough money to really make ends meet, but yet you got to go with a smile on your face and, and, and fake it. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Come up with some type of health care that a full-time person can afford and don't have to put on the scale health care or feed my family. Why is it that a corporation that in 2003 had an outstanding $240 billion in sales would not provide a livable wage and affordable health care for their employees? There's nowhere around that there's a company that makes this much money and, and, and still turns around and makes their associates go to the state for aid. I think my company takes family very seriously and they'll help you achieve anything you want. The possibilities are absolutely endless at Walmart.
think of the careers that get started in this company and the difference it makes in people's lives. But most importantly to me, jobs that come with opportunity for personal development. When I first started working at Walmart, I was still in high school. I didn't have any plans to go to college later on. You know, the people that I was working with were just so nice, and, and I just thought that was awesome. My job function as a Tyler Express technician is performing an oil service to the tire changes, battery service, um, stocking the inside shelves, writing up work orders, which is greeting the customer, running the cash register, you know, ringing people out you know, for just groceries that they bought throughout the store, and they want it all done at the same time. All I'm worried about is the one four percent raise a year that you get from Walmart. You know, I've worked there three years, and I've got I think I believe a dollar seven raise. I don't have good health benefits. I can't afford to live on my own anymore. Um, and just most of it is the poor treatment from management at Walmart. I don't know. It's just weird. I've always been kind of quiet and shy, but now you know. I kind of need to stand up for myself and, you know, my community. So I just, you know, searched the internet for a while and whatever I typed in, it brought up the same thing. You know, I type in employee rights and it'd bring up the union or fair labor practice would bring up the union. These corporate people in the Walmart Corporation, they don't even really like to say the word union. To them, it's like a curse word. They just say third party representation is the way they put it. Walmart is very opposed to unions, uh, one of the most anti, if not the most aggressively anti-union company in the history of the United States, just relentless in their, in their search for union activity and try to squelch it, kill it. Look at that, we got a few in there. Ed DePontes. Ed DePontes, he gave you a call, right? He gave me a call and he says that he didn't want nothing to do with the, with the union. He says there was no, no, no. I had a worker that came to me with a piece of paper that someone had typed up on the computer in big, bold, black letters that said, we need a union. Uh, no signatures, that's all it said. That in itself is enough to require me as a store manager to go and uh, make a phone call. And the phone call comes to Bentonville. And that afternoon, I had to personally drive to the airport and pick up three guys that flew in in a corporate jet and pick them up and bring them back to my store. We have to do this for the reasons we started it, you know. What they do is they basically walk in and tell the store manager, you're no longer in charge of the store. Every decision goes through us. They taught me how to profile people. Of course, I didn't know that was the term then. And it was identifying people that were the strongest uh, representatives of the petition to organize or at least get a vote. Nita, we need to contact still. Possibility there. You walk up to a couple of associates and they're both talking, they walk away from each other. They gotta go. They're conspiring to do something. Be noisy, be happy, be boisterous. We're here to support folks who are trying desperately to fight against the world's largest richest and probably meanest corporation. The associates in the automotive department were flooded uh, with brainwashing material against the union. I got fooled by a union. Fooled bad. All unions work at is taking a cut out of my pay. Yeah, take your money and spend it to help in political campaigns. And help people I don't even vote for. Because they know a union is just messing up. But don't take my word. Just ask the associates working here in the building. I can't get within the store for 50 feet before somebody approaches me or there's kind of somebody following me around the store. I was never alone. I was followed wherever I went. Truly, the managers would follow me. During the process of intimidating them, they just make their lives miserable. They do illegal surveillance. They put cameras up in workstations, work areas, break rooms. You got a target on your back. And you know, everybody else know, I got to stay away from this person here because I can get fired for talking to this person. They're targeting a lot of it at jobs, you know, they're like, because they were talking about